Hi everyone, I'm Christoph Chu with Coldwell Banker Global Luxury Real Estate in Beverly Hills, California. I want to talk a little bit today about the process involved in working with a foreign national buyer. So my 32-year career, I work with many, many international buyers from all over the world. South America, Europe, Eastern Europe, Russia, England, Canada, China, Spain, India, um, Taiwan, Hong Kong, uh, Singapore, just about everywhere, which is cool. I love international buyers. So, and it is a process. Typically, international buyers finally find me from a referral from another international friend, or they may find me online, because I do have a pretty large online presence. And they'll start contacting me, usually via email first, asking questions. And in today's world with the use of video, I'm using a technology called BombBomb, where I literally, instead of typing a long email, I'll turn my camera on, record a video directly to them, and, sh and responding to their questions or their concerns. And I always like to take it from the internet email to a video format and then to a live chat format. So as an example, there's a buyer I've been working with now from Poland for the last uh, couple of months online. And uh, we've been corresponding and sending emails back and forth and video messages. And so they're gonna be coming to LA soon. So the next step is to, uh, first of all, I got them uh, they're not paying cash, which is unusual. Most foreign buyers will pay all cash. But this particular buyer is looking for something in the six to $10 million range, and they want to do financing. So the first thing I did, because uh, time is money, is got them in, um, introduced to my international mortgage broker that does foreign national loans. And not everyone does that. There's only a few banks in the US that do foreign national loans. But I've got the best people, so I put them in contact with the buyer. They went through their pre-approval process, and uh, got that particular buyer pre-approved. So first had our contacts, we discussed you know, what they're doing, when they're coming to LA, what they're looking to buy. Uh, in most cases, foreign nationals buy vacation homes, or, or you know, this is a third, fourth, or fifth residence for them, so these are not main residences. So, um, so we talk about where they wanna buy, when they're coming, kind of plan it all out. So today was our first live FaceTime call, and I love live FaceTime calls. It's almost like being in person, and it's so important to be face-to-face -face with someone, even if it's on a live video chat, it's almost like being in person. We can really get to know the other person, they can get to know me, and we can really go through the process of asking questions, and them asking questions and me asking questions. So this morning, we had an 8.30 scheduled call. Uh, he's in Europe, and so uh, we had a lovely video chat, and we spent about 45 minutes on the phone discussing all the various aspects of making their time very efficient and valuable when they're here. They're here for 10 days, so we set up exactly when they're arriving. We're gonna meet the next morning at around 9, 30, 10 a.m., look at five to six homes in the morning, then go have lunch so we can sit down in a casual, relaxed atmosphere, uh, have some nice food in one of our wonderful Beverly Hills restaurants, and talk about what we've seen, the neighborhoods, the pros and cons of the different houses, etc. But today, for example, it was very interesting, I started asking a little bit more questions about the buyer because it is a foreign residence and I exp he's, he's looking primarily in gated communities and I strongly advised and suggested that that was really his best option because being a foreign national and not being here that much, it's good to be have the added security and protection of a gated community so you can kind of lock your door, have the alarm on and not really have to think about things. Uh, whereas if you're in other parts of the city and it's, it's a gated property, you don't quite have that extra added level of protection of no one's getting in and out those gates without your permission. So, so that was my advice. Second thing, we talked a little bit more about uh, their family and they have a family of five and I asked the ages and I asked the ages specifically because in the price range they're looking for, there are about four or five different gated communities in Beverly Hills or Bel Air that are available. Uh, but he has younger children that are under 18, a few of them, and so I suggested that his best option was a particular neighborhood called Bel Air Crest. Because I said it really is the only gated community with a real resort-like atmosphere. And if you have young children, you're in a gated community, and you're here for summer, or you're here for a month or so on vacation, having fun, and the kids wanna have fun, right? And meet the other kids in the neighborhood. So this particular community has a huge community recreation center, oversized Olympic pool, kids playground, half basketball courts, has putting greens, has tennis courts, has wonderful areas to walk uh, on the hills and the trees, and, and it's all behind the private gates. None of the other gated communities, including Beverly Park, which is the most exclusive gated community, 
which is pretty much starting at around 20 million. They have a park, um, but they don't have community tennis courts, community pools, because I guess pretty much in Beverly Park, everyone has their own. So I guess that's why. So it was a really great conversation. Then it got into uh, what's the process. So I shared with him that I would send him a video I did, and we talked about property taxes. And his question was, as a foreign national buyer, what does he need to be prepared for? So I explained to him that there were not a lot of requirements as a purchaser of a foreign, a foreign investor purchaser in the US. That will be, there will be requirements, however, when they decide and if they decide to sell that house down the road. So we talked about that. They talked about potentially renting the house because they're not gonna be here that often and how that would take place. And, and if he received rental income, this was a good question, uh, does he file tax returns in the US? And I explained about ITIN, which is the International Tax ID Number uh, from the IRS, which is not required when you purchase as a foreign national. However, if you decide to sell your property, you need to get an ITIN number so you can find a foreign national return on the sale of that property. So, because the IRS wants capital gains tax if you made a capital gain. So, we discussed that part of it. We discussed how property taxes worked. We discussed about homeowners dues, how those work and what they cover. We discussed uh, maintaining the property, what's required. I said there's water and power bills, and based on a 6,000 square foot home, you're probably looking at 1,000 to $2,000 a month in water and power bills. You know, gas can range from a couple hundred to a thousand, depending on how much you use the gas. Uh, we talked about gardener, because gardeners come typically once a week in LA, unless you want them to come twice a week. What the cost is, and I'm pretty good at estimating those things, because I've had so many sales over the years, and I always know those figures, so I know, okay, an acre property uh, with all this kind of landscaping is gonna cost you 5,000 a month and you need two full-time guys or this quarter acre lot with relatively little landscaping, you can get a gardener for 500 to 750 a month and they'll come twice a week or once a week, you know, et cetera. We talked about pool mat, you know, and I said basically all you need to have to maintain the house is the monthly homeowner's dues, your property taxes, your water and power, um, your gas bill, your gardener and your, um, um, pool man. <laughs> and in some cases, some clients do like to have house managers. Some people like to have people live in, other people like to have people to come on a weekly basis, a monthly basis, just to check in on the house. Because you know, with houses, a pipe can get a little leak. Things can happen. Um, I had this wonderful house in Bel Air years ago that uh, I took over as a listing. And I went in there and four days later, when I came back the next time, there had been a pinhead leak in a copper pipe in a newer house in a wall that had spread from the wall to the floor and literally it was a 10,000 square foot house had literally buckled almost half of all of the wood floors on the first floor because no one was there to check it out a few weeks ago at another listing of mine I went there uh, the owners were there in the morning I went in the afternoon someone had left the faucet on it was dripping on the sink and was great it was you know rolling on the floor and almost damaged uh, the wood floors and the carpet so so there's a possibility of having a property manager to take a look at your property and check in on it as often as you want and as often as you're willing to pay. So this is all a process and it's, I really enjoy the process. I love what I do and I really love helping people, educating people. So we ended up the call with, I'm sending the buyer the video about being a foreign national, what's involved in purchasing a home. I'll send him another video about buying a home and the steps involved in the escrow process, inspections and things of that nature. And I also suggested to make his time valuable, I'm gonna send out a basic California purchase agreement, which is our standard form, to have him take time to review now over the next month or so before he comes. So when he comes to LA and he decides on the right house, we can make an offer, he understands the contract and he has time now between now and July to ask me lots of questions about things he may have questions about on the purchase agreement. So that way the buyer is informed, they can ask questions, and I said, when you're here for 10 days, you can find the house, write the offer, let me negotiate the deal, you can come for the inspections, but then enjoy your time in beautiful Los Angeles. Take the kids to Disneyland, go to Universal Studios, enjoy our shopping in Rodeo Drive, um, go to the beach, go check out the desert, go play golf, he likes to play golf. So let me do my job and help prepare you, help educate you, so that when you're here, whether you're local or not, you can make your time valuable and make the deal and the transaction and the process as smooth as possible. So just wanted to share this little insight into foreign national buyers and uh, the beginning of our conversation. And if you like these videos, let me know, subscribe, follow, because we're gonna be doing more and more of these. So thanks for watching.